The federal government says it is committed to local processing of unearthed mineral resources nationwide. The Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Olami Lekon Adigbite, made his known at a workshop with industry stakeholders in Abuja, saying processing will benefit country and generate more income for the mining sector. Adigbite also added government is working out a template where local artisans miners will be able to benefit from the sector side by side with expected foreign investors. Nigerians have so, so many. Uh, I think about 44 minerals spread all over the country. And uh, it's been the traditional occupation for some people, mining. Probably it's even become generational. But what government is trying to do with the focus this time is to organize this process so that uh, big investors can come in. We can see our small scale miners. We, of course, also recognize artisanal miners. Everybody uh, down the chain, all stakeholders, will be able to unless uh, their activity. Government will realize its own royalties that's due to government, and everybody will prosper from it, and of course create more jobs. The essence of this workshop is to take over from that, because you see, it's not just enough to mine the minerals, but of course to process them locally. When we, when we export minerals in the raw form, we get paid next to nothing. But if we do some beneficiation, uh, some processing locally, uh, it benefits us as a nation. We get more money. A lot of these minerals can also be used by the industries locally. Instead of first exporting them as raw materials and they bring them back as semi-processed for our industries. Those days, if you produce tin, it was compulsory for you to take the tin to the smelter in Joss. What has happened to that smelter? It is dead. With this initiative, I am sure that it, is open, it will open another huge area for investment. Because the tin is still there. The price of tin is expected to go up very soon. These are tremendous opportunities. When I look at the contribution of the oil and gas uh, for the, of the mining sector, it's quite small and it's quite very uh, insignificant. And that means that there's a huge task. And as uh, Sonny mentioned, that we have a double barrel in the person of the minister, Honorable Minister of Mines and Steel and Minister of State for Mines and Steel. And that means that with the two of them, collaborating with Lagos Business School, it means that that peculiar task that will definitely um, solve it and create a better mining system. Let, let also be known that there are still a lot to be done, that we continue the hard work until we see that a better mining sector is developed and created in Nigeria.